Ah, here comes the message. Your premium connectivity trial or subscription has ended. Connect to Wi-Fi to access most connectivity features or subscribe to your premium. Okay, the reason I came to the car actually is I want to do some testing and um, because I'm going for a trip tomorrow, I need to charge the car to 80%. It's a 180, 190 kilometer trip tomorrow and I don't want to charge in between. I can potentially do it, but I don't want to. So 80% and I want to set the charge to, we are leaving at 9.30. Preconditioned cabin on weekdays only? No. I want the cabin to be preconditioned tomorrow. 9.30, departure. And I want to see if the car actually preconditions the battery as well. I heard from others it warms up the battery as well. Well, it may not be cold enough. We've got 14 degrees outside, but the wind is super, super cold, which, well, the wind chill doesn't affect the battery. But still, the battery could be around between 10 and 15 degrees somewhere tomorrow morning. And I'm keen to see if it actually preconditions the battery as well. I'll do the test. So 9.30 is departure. Precondition is on. We should set the temperature then to something nice. Maybe 23. Yeah. Yeah, let's go 23. All right. Turn it off. All right, so before the journey tomorrow morning, uh, I want to just have a quick look at the battery temperature here and see what's going on. Oh, I should see this on the front page. 16 degrees battery temperature we have. Uh, 13, it's outside. So this one will go down. Yeah, I'm not sure if it actually preconditions the battery tomorrow while it's plugged in. It may use some energy to um, burn and then heat up the battery. Let's see. Here we can see the battery temperatures again, max, mid and min, and the outside temperature, 16 and 13 outside. Well, this is what you get when you don't use the car for three days. I'll show you. Look at this, three days, just the standby power of the EVSE. No charge at all, nothing. And no wonder the battery is cold, right? All right, so it's early in the morning, just waking up the car. It's 5.33. No, it's not 5.33. That's when the charge completed. So the car is now at 80 something percent. Um, just want to have a quick look and scan my Tesla. The Tesla watchdog. Yeah, yeah it's 60, um, 86 percent this way around. And the cell temperature is, or battery temperature is 18.3 degrees. I scheduled it to 9.30 to be ready by 9.30, so uh, we will check after 9 o'clock. Usually it starts about 20 minutes before the departure time to precondition the car. I never tried the heating process, so this will be the first time for me to test this. Car is still plugged in, of course. We've got power on the circuit. And we will check after 9 o'clock again and see what's happening, if there is a um, preconditioning of the battery. This would mean the powertrain, the powertrain does not show at the moment. This would mean they are burning energy in the rear motor again to heat up the battery. So I want to see if this is the case when we precondition the car. The internal temperature is set to 24 degrees. 9.30, departure time. We will check after 9. Okay, so it is 12 past 9, we've got 18 minutes until the departure time and I cannot hear any fans or something, but I can see the car is the red light, the OBD. Ah, here it comes, just now the charger kicks in. That means something is happening. Start the watchdog. Ah, here we go. Fan. Yeah, fan comes on. That's the heating. Okay, I want to see some amps. Battery. 
3 kilowatts there it says yeah around 3 kilowatts as this bar going up and down battery power that's for the heater so 10 amps it almost pulls and this is what it uses from the grid interesting to see that the car only draws less than one kilowatt now yeah, around one kilowatts to heat up the car inside so after the initial three kilowatts it uses only one less than one now hmm and here we can confirm 10 amps 2.3 kilowatts going in the car from the grid but it uses only 0 0.5 to heat nothing so far 17 degrees in the battery and the battery inlet is 17 as well no additional heat ah no i was wrong what it is this is additional power coming from the battery i think so it uses mainly the two kilowatts from the grid now and this is maybe additional power i don't know exactly if it should have a minus or a plus does plus mean we are charging maybe it's maintaining state of charge now one one amp battery current and it's using the 2.3 kilowatts from the grid now to heat up the car so it doesn't use any power ah it's already warmed up from 12 degrees to 23 within well five minutes not even that that's insane I thought I can turn on the seat heater as well from the app um, I don't know maybe not yeah well we can see here again charge, co uh, charge complete it doesn't use any power does it show us anything on the screen no nothing so from the from the app it doesn't show any power going into the battery but here on scan my tesla we can see one kilowatt battery power i assume this is this is going into the battery so it's slightly recharging the battery or keeps it on the same um, state of charge 17 degrees still nothing here no heating so far maybe it's not cold enough Ah uh, well, the battery temperature is slightly increasing from 17 to 70.5. The inlet is warmer. Uh, not sure, I need to see the powertrain temperature, which I cannot see when the car is turned off. So, so we've got uh, 12 degrees outside. What I will do now is to preserve energy. I'll turn off the, I'll turn off the fan and just use the seat heaters and see if this is sufficient to um, keep me warm this cold climate <laughs> there was just a messing message here on the screen saying uh, regenerative braking reduced we've got a huge power limit here for regen braking so our battery is definitely cold so rear stator temperature is 17 or 18 degrees now definitely no preheating of the battery while preconditioned the car in this condition uh, 12 degrees outside and 17 degrees in the battery it was so um, let me know in the comments down below if your battery gets warmer in the Tesla Model 3 while you are preconditioning the car I would be really interested in this um, information probably someone from Norway or Canada or something with a Model 3 if you precondition your car in the morning so preheat the car in cold climate does the battery gets warmed as well after a while maybe it takes longer I don't know but it had already um, it had already reached the 24 degrees inside in the cabin here so there was enough time that the car could have burned energy in the motor to heat up the battery but it didn't maybe 17 degrees battery temperature is not cold enough for the for the car to do that so i don't know all right guys so we made it back home 
um, 14 percent left and the battery is on 29 percent so i have not seen the battery going over 31 degrees today while driving maximum temperature outside was 16 degrees only and there was no no heating of the battery possible this was all from driving on the highway uh, 240 kilometers i did today 136 watt hours per kilometer still we um, had the heating on well not on 26 but um, we used mainly the seat heating then there was enough to get us through all right guys so far this testing so no preconditioning for the battery at least not in these um, high temperatures still as i said before let me know in the comments down below if you are living in the colder climate and your battery is actually preheating in the morning if the car takes some energy of the charger and preheats the battery burns energy in the motors heats up the water and diverts this back into the battery to heat up the battery i would love to hear from you about that as always guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon thanks guys see you then bye bye